Hey guys, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I am Sayas Migupta, co-founder of 10x for the kids. No, wait, 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 wait. Right here, right? <laughs> and today we are gonna be solving JavaScript practice set number four. So while solving those questions, uh, we'll be also going to be understanding all the concepts. Thank you, Code with Hadi, for providing us these uh, practice sets. Okay, let's get started. Perfect. Where's my blood here? We are supercharging our remote configs with the release of our JSON. So, um, oh, uh oh. Too noisy. आज के इस वीडियो में हम लोग स्ट्रिंग से रिलेटेड कुछ प्रैक्टिस वन सेकेंड गाइस परफेक्ट सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट विल द फॉलोइंग प्रिंट इन जावास्क्रिप्ट this dot line okay i'll show you pretty cold out here what about your place it's cold out there also because it's pretty cold over here okay so what was it yeah let's make a variable let a is equals to had no actually why do we want to write had when i can write my own name oh, oh sorry right then you're gonna do console dot log a let's run it look it has got so i asked me pencil case and if we do a comma a dot length so according to you what should it get oh, oh, oh. Yes. So according to you, what should it get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Right? According to you, it should get twenty-two. Right? But it has got twenty-one. Why is it so? It is because this is an escape literal character. So basically, this um, we were allowed to give double quote in a double quote string by giving this escape literal. This is one. This is not two. These are this together makes one. Okay. 
so it is 1 so if we count again we will get 22 ok explore the includes starts with and ends with function of a string ok now what we are gonna do is no thanks ok so what we are gonna do next is what are we gonna do includes right Hmm, yeah, console dot log e dot includes e dot includes let's say pencil pencil right and then comma a right let's see I'll explain you just a second okay so so in the beginning we have uh, gotten the uh, you know the basically the a whatever it is a and 21 the length right we have already understand understood how we have got 21 how have we got 21 as this is one character so if we take it as one and we count again so we'll get 21 then what we are doing is a dot includes pencil right so what we are saying is go in a check if it includes pencil basically that string if that contains pencil if it has pencil in it so the word pencil is present here right so include start with and end with all three of them gets true and false and does not modify the original string okay so that's why it has gotten true because it does contain pencil and look if it was pencils then let's see what it would get it would still get true why it is because even though we have not given an s here still there is this word pencil right still there are these letters p e n c i l right so that's why it has get, gotten true and look it has not modified the original uh, string it has got the same so i asked me spencer case right so now we'll do start with and in ends with they are quite similar and pretty easy to understand So keep in mind wherever I'm giving capital and where I'm giving small. In start with and ends with, our W should be capital, right? Now, let's do here. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Yes, it has got the answer that we expected it. So how is that so? We know what includes is so next that we have is starts with starts with is basically whatever our string is if it starts with those alphabets basically if in the beginning we have those alphabets for example so I asked me is in the beginning right so S A I is in the beginning right if we would have given I for example then see what it would get it would get two false right but 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 if we give s because that s is in the beginning it is in the real beginning right so it would get true okay so starts with is basically if the number of alphabets or those number of alphabets or that alphabet is in the beginning of the string i we are not starting our string with an i right we are starting our string with an s so it has gotten true okay and then ends with pencil so at the end do we have these letters p e n c i l we don't have these letters at the end right so it has gotten false and then as i told you it does not modify the original string okay right so second question is also done it was quite easy write a program to convert a given string to lowercase so what we're gonna do is console.log 
we're gonna do a dot we'll do two right and then capital L O W E R and then capital C A S E and this okay so what it will do is obviously it will convert all all of it into uh, basically all the whole string into lowercase look so I asked me pencil case it is now in small and it did not modify the original string and then uh, all those which were capital it has got them capital only okay now you might get this question in your mind if oh sorry right if we had given it already in lowercase then what would have it gotten it would have gotten the same so I asked me it's pencil case in lower k okay question 3 done extract the amount of this string please give rupees 1000 okay let b no let's do let's money is equals to please give rupees 1 thousand so we want to uh, separate so basically we want to separate right we want to separate this from the string what we'll do is we'll change money only right we'll change money or we can not change money also it's our choice no thanks okay so to do this we are going to use the slice method what we are going to do is money dot slice one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right twelve and if we console dot log money 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 it would get rupees thousand okay so that is what it is okay question number four also done try, try to change the fourth character of a given string were you able to do it okay let's try so we want to change the fourth character of a string so basically in indexing it is third right so what we're gonna do is yes now let's see one second guys right okay let's see now when AIs do most of the work humans will get to do one thing nothing okay sorry I was just I was just checking if code with Heidi has done it this way or it has done it in a method so we are not gonna use replace we're gonna do money money index number three money um let's just let's just yes money index number three to be changed to let's do yeah r and then console.log money let's see if what it would get it would get still please give rupees thousand why is it so if it was not changing then why didn't it get an error so sometimes in javascript you would write a wrong code but and it would not work but it would not give you an error so you have to keep one thing in mind is that you strings are immutable which means you cannot change them you cannot you cannot change strings you can change arrays but you cannot 
change strings strings are immutable so so basically the question why are you able to do it no we were not able to do it because strings are immutable just like that we have completed our practice set number four let's just revise in this as you know this is an escape literal so it would be treated as one so h a r and then this code so it would be four okay the length would be four then includes includes what it does is basically include the text if in the string that that alphabet or those number of alphabets are present okay starts with check if the string the alphabet or the alphabets that we have given start with that alphabet or that or those alphabets right and same happens when ends with but we check it for, at the end for the end then to convert a string to lowercase we're gonna use a to lowercase method then to extract the amount we'll do slice right and we cannot change any character of a string because strings are immutable Air arrays are mutable which means we can change them right next practice that is gonna be of our arrays, right and we'll see in that also that we are if we are able to change a uh, array or not okay arrays are mutable strings are immutable okay and just like that guys we have completed practice number practice set number four guys i hope you enjoyed my video and understood please don't hesitate to ask and thank you so much for writing those outstanding comments thank you guys bye stay safe stay healthy and keep watching my videos bye guys